Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Starting this vlog in a bit of an awkward angle I would say because I was going to film but then my camera didn't have a lot of battery so I decided to start this vlog. I was going to do it after filming but I will just start it now. Where I'm going to read the two first Poro books by Agatha Christie. So I'm starting the mystery affair at Styles. I am very excited for them because I've been loving Poro for years. I watched it with my parents when I was a kid. I watched like the old serious which came out in what before i was born or something i don't even know i watched that and i loved it and then of course i watched murder on orient express when it came out in cinemas what year was that 2018 i don't remember i was so hyped because i like still love pro after all those years because like then i had hadn't watched it for years then the other day we decided to watch that on the nile because i was thinking about pro a lot because gavin from how to train your gavin posted like his vlog starting I got a Christie and I was like, oh my God. And then I like thought about it and I remembered I hadn't watched that on an aisle. So we watched that because we also saw that was out on Disney Plus. And then I checked my local stores if they had any Poirot books in and they had one and two. And obviously you don't need to read them in order, but knowing me, I have to read them in order or else I will go insane inside of me. <laughs> so I am starting one and two. So I'm thinking I'll read one today and two tomorrow for this little Agatha Christie vlog thing. And I will be sure to leave link to Gavin's vlog down below as well because you should obviously check that out so i was thinking i would read 100 pages in that and then i will film more and then i will up to you guys after 100 pages etc so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little vloggy vlog trying to theme it a bit and yeah i'm just thinking i was gonna start now i just need to find a camera place maybe you can be here a bit see you soon <laughs> So I was actually gonna go film and I've almost forgot to upload the vlog. I forgot I was reading for the purpose of this vlog. So I read whew, 112 pages and it's like 240 so I'm kind of soon done and it's really really fun. So as I said I have loved Perot and like the I was gonna say set up for his mysteries for years you know since I was a kid. So always someone who's get murdered or not always. I haven't like read and seen all of them so I don't actually remember. But in this one it's really simple. A lady has been murdered. He's trying to find out who. It's actually not told from Perot's point of view which I expected. I don't know if any of the books are but it's one of the people who know of him and then a murder happens and then he invites Perot there and it's like please help us solve this and then um, we interview people and it's always just like what can I say, like details where the other characters like, oh, obviously then this is how they got murdered. And poor Rose, I was like, well, is it all? <laughs> I, I, it's actually not. And then of course, in the end, as I assume he will like collect everyone and then go through the whole thing of what happened. It's like my favorite part. It's where we like, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I mean, I assume poor Rose became real before Scooby-Doo. actually don't know. I just love the setup. I thought I would get a bit confused which I also was initially of like all the names because there's like a lot of you know characters because we need to have characters there to have a you know setup for like who did it and I was a bit confused as well like I was just like oh Mr. Kavanaugh Mr. blah 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 Mr. blah blah and I was like I don't know who you are but like at the same time I got used to them pretty fast and like you get an overview of them pretty fast especially when we interview them so it's like fine but I'm just like really enjoying it like I didn't think I was gonna like it that much because I was like, will I like it in this written form? Because when you know, watching it, 
in front of you quite different because it's like, you know, like with music and like excitement and like expressions and you can see how all the different characters look like while here you just hear the names kind of. I don't know how to describe the difference. You know what I mean. But I'm like really enjoying it and I love Perron how he speaks and now I like realize how good like the actors that have been playing him have done it because like I have like <laughs> the accent and like the expressions in my mind and it's just the best time. So I'm very happy and I will finish this after I've done some filming. So I will update you then. But now I'm gonna film and try to finish off Rita soon. Yay! <laughs> so sad either way i finished mysterious affair at styles really really liked it in classic parole style i almost pooped myself <laughs> this. yeah but i almost pooped myself because i didn't want to get up and then i had to finish a book on the toilet while exploding because we had spicy earlier that was lovely but is that oversharing on the internet? Who, who cares? Either way, the book was really fun. I liked how it just went for this thing to that thing, but it reminded me of other Perot books. Uh, stories. I haven't read other books. That's why we're here. My brain is loading. Surprised myself by understanding more than I thought I would. I don't know why. And like enjoying myself more because as again, as I mentioned earlier, I was scared I would be too confused and also like bored <laughs> because you know, crime is not my favorite thing, but it is more like a mystery. I just had a good time. I just love for as the character so much. And I'm very excited to read the second book tomorrow. Actually very curious to see like how the other mysteries like are in book form. Oh my god. Sorry, I just opened a book and it says like all her other books. <laughs> so many and poor books. And I really wanna read all Miss Murple. Marple? I always have said Murple, but it's written Marple. And of course, and then there were none. But yeah, it's really weird for me to enjoy this kind of book since I like, I dis disliked crime for such a long time. And I just love the mystery and like the circumstances, finding the evidence and then how the evidence makes sense later. That's like the kind of thing I like. You will see me tomorrow for when I read the second book. And you will have thoughts done. Probably will be the same as now. But then it will be interesting to see if it's like still told for someone else's point of view, etc. So we will see how I feel. And uh, yeah, you will see me then. It's the next day. I am going to read the murder on the links, obviously, for the vlog. But I just filmed some videos. So I don't know if I'm going to read it once or not. But yeah, I just want to say hi for today and going to read soon, which you will see. So, yay! <gasps>
I'm gonna continue my vlog and Eric was bullying me <laughs> before I got to update it. So I read in The Murder on the Links, obviously. And I read 128 pages, which is ish halfway. So I'm going to finish it afterwards. I just need some food in my tummy bummy. Someone died. And I was like, wow, someone died. And Eric was like, what did you expect? But it was because I didn't think they were going to die so early. So I was like, wow. I had some notes. So this one is also written from Mr. Hastings' point of view. Hastings. Hastings. Not Hastings. What, what did I say? I don't know. And I realized, of course, it makes sense it's written for someone else's point of view and not Perot's point of view because then we would know all the answers at once because, like, he, you know, thinks through all the different shit and then we will, like, know them. And, like, I think being in his head would be very exhausting, you know, in the first book, he was like, oh, yeah, I have 70 different theory theories. And if we had to go to 70 different theories, <laughs> it would be, you know, a lot. So it makes sense. It's from someone else's point of view. What I wonder if it's all 40 books is from Mr. Hastings', Hastings point of view. But yeah, I like him. I like that he's a bit like stupid, you know, a bit like. John Watson with Sherlock Holmes is the vibe. I guess also makes sense. And then in this one, we have a rival for Poirot, which is really fun, called Giraud. I don't know what to call him. And he's like another detective who's also on the case. And his methods are very like different from Poirot. And he like does not like him. And I really like that he got kind of got a rival. And I wonder if he will be on more cases with him later. We will see. But yeah, obviously someone is dead. They're trying to find out who died and I'm like, I don't know why I'm telling you the plot. <laughs> like, it's like, it's obvious that's what it's about. Why do I go in and out of focus? Stop. Thank you. So I do wonder who did it, of course. And I'm excited to settle down, settle down with all the answers. Stop bullying me every time I say a word wrong, Erica. I love like that we got all like the small clues and then later Poro would be like, oh, this meant that he went to the moon and pooped his pants on the yeah. And I'm like, oh, really? And it's really cool. Now I'm going to make some spicy noodles that I will explode out of my ass later. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then I'm going to finish the book and then edit videos. Can I stop going in and out of focus? I'm gonna punch you, Sandra. <laughs> that was very aggressive, I'm really sorry. Bye bye. We have come to the end of this vlog because I finished the murder on the links. So I really, really enjoyed it. I don't know why I called the other detective arrival for Poirot because he had nothing on Poirot. And it had the many twists and turns, you know, thinking we solved it. Nope. Thinking we solved it. Nope. <laughs> there is more. And I love, I love that. Can I put you down here? That works. I look weird now, but it's fine. Very enjoyable, you know, I love Poro as a character. I see like Hastings got kind of an ending here. I would say like, I guess like a development a lot in his character by the end. So I wonder if he is still a narrator in the next book, but we will see. I don't know because I haven't read it. I just love Poro, how like everyone knows him. I love his ways. I love his thinking. I love how there is like details in a book, you know? And I assume, as I said yesterday, I would like forget them or like, you know, not not understand the meaning of them later because it would be like too many details. But it's not like that at all. Like you completely get the full picture. And I just think that that is really well done. And I just don't understand how I got to Christy did that. Like as a compliment, 100%, because sometimes when I read 
Chrome books or like watch TV. I'm just like, what did that mean? And then like you never get the answer or like you totally miss it in a way. But here it just like all makes sense. It's like put out like this. And then Poro was like, hey, and I'm just like, hello. <laughs> but obviously I assume, I think in my head that Agatha Christie, you know, thought all of this out when she wrote it. And then you know, I could put out the pieces to explain it for us and Poro. But I'm just like, how do you have brains enough as an author to do that? Because I feel like I could never write a mystery. Because it would be like, you need to set it up so like you, the people don't understand it at once. And it also needs to be set up so that you can explain it later for it to make sense. And I just, I just like it a lot, okay? It's just like, I said, my perfect kind of mystery. Now I'm very excited to read more. Like, I know they're all like, you know, in a similar style in a way. A lot of people getting killed for money. But it's just so enjoyable and I am very excited to continue. I don't have any more books, but... We'll get to them. Very excited to see, you know, Murder on Orient Express because that is the most famous one to see how it is in book format because I'm just excited for it. I feel like I had more, but that all just like went away the second I was going to start this clip, of course. So now I need to go and edit videos for Vida and this was one of them. I hope you enjoyed a little reading row of me starting Agatha Christie and Perot that I've been wanting to read for years and years and years. And you will see me soon in a new video. Leave the emoji with a moustache and glasses down below if you enjoyed this. And you will see me soon in a new video. Bye!